Yeah, so, so you grew up feeling that the judgment of yourself was the truth about yourself. Yeah. But all of us have done that, haven't we? Pretty much. This is why we revert to judgment. It seems so real. It's taken me all my life to find with your teachings to get out of it. Yes. Yeah. It's impossible. It keeps coming back. It seems normal. Yeah. And that's what I'd like to talk about next. Yeah, I would. All right. Because it's really important to understand that even the judgment came from somewhere. Right. And it is also important to understand that when we start getting past this soul sinking phase and into the actual processing part of our emotions, we start realizing that it's so important for us to realize that the, this young time of our life all actually caused us to believe errors as truth. So many of you right now have all of these feelings about yourself that are not true, but you believe with all of your heart they're true. Now, God knows they're not true, but you don't know they're not true. And can you see that? That's pretty hard, isn't it? Because I've got all these feelings about myself. Oh, I'm getting a bit wet there, aren't I? I've got all these feelings about myself. Sorry about this, but it's the way it goes today. Um, we've got all these feelings about myself that is actually ha that, that's going on constantly, and I believe them to be true. And that's pretty sad, really, when you think about it. And it also makes our life very difficult when I'm hearing divine truth or hearing truth or we're attempting to hear truth from God but in reality what's going on inside of us is we're constantly rejecting it because we believe what we're hearing is false and this is why most people and tomorrow one of the things I want to talk about in the informal discussion is ang anger and what, what happens with anger but this is why most people get into anger we get angry because we hear this, what we believe is error, but actually it's probably truth right, that we're hearing. And we get angry, we respond in anger, which is denial of emotion generally, to the experience instead of allowing ourselves to see. And the reason why we don't allow ourselves to see is because we judge ourselves. So can you see how it sets up this huge cycle of resistance? to the emotion. And the more you resist your emotion, the less connection you'll have with God. So the more you actively resist your emotion, the less connected you will be with God. And the key indicators that we're resisting our emotion is if I'm angry, feeling resentful, feeling rage, feeling shut down, and a lot of those other types of emotions then I'm in a space of resisting my emotions and I need to allow myself to see the truth of that. 